हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल माय नेम इज महेश कारिया यू वाचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब नाउ इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोना टेक यू थ्रू हाउ टू कमाइन वाइट विद डी नो एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम सो लेट मी टेल यू वाइट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अल्टरनेटिव फॉर वे पैक मच फास्टर देन वे पैक एंड डी नो इज अ रन टाइम इन्वॉर्मेंट फॉर जावा स्क्रिप्ट बेटर देन नोट जेस तो वी आर गोना कम्बाइन वाइट एंड डी नो टूगेदर with solid or react js so of course we'll go with the solid js first so let me search for solid js.com and here all the documentation are given so if you are trying to run solid js on the top of dino or react on the top of dino or to run uh, in ssr this kind of lots of questions if you have then uh this video can be the solution uh I'm, i'm i'll try to provide you so let's try so i'm going to create a new folder on my desktop let me open my uh editor let me create new folder quickly let me name it uh, uh dino underscore white underscore solid okay doesn't matter uh solid js is a better version of uh, react or not better version but there are lots of changes which which was needed and uh, lots of folks are using it nowadays so i thought it would be great if we use a solid which is similar uh, like react same jsx format that you can use in solid as well so uh, i already have dino installed in my system if you don't have it you just need to click on this install button and by the way it uh, by default it supports npm uh, compatibility so npm all the node modules folder you can use in dino as well so most of your any uh, node project can be converted into the dino project so it's really very really super cool uh, i have a latest version so now i can proceed with the further things like this so if i click here on get started you will be greeted with uh, this thing and where you can normally use yarn create white command in order to get started with or we can start from scratch as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to convert existing project into dino which will be useful for you guys so we won't do much thing and i'll let you know what are the things that you need to eliminate you need to delete like node modules or not node modules specifically package.json package.log.json you need to remove instead of that you will get dino.json dino log.json apart from that there are a uh, few minor changes that we will take care about that is dino is secured by default so you need to pass all the permissions uh, that are we generally don't pass in nodejs and uh, few dependencies uh, if you are using the third party dino dependencies so you don't need to okay by the way i am using version 19 or uh, node which is not stable so i need to change my version through my npm so npm use 18 is the latest stable version so i'm going to use 12.0 and then only it will this command will work okay so by the way yarn uh, if you are not familiar again so uh, npm is slower than uh, yarn that's why i'm using yarn or, or you can use pnpm as well it's all your choice so i'm going to select this white project and you can choose any by the way i'll go with the solid but i'm not able to see the solid here so what else or this and can i see if directly i can use solid with get started let me click here or yeah this one this command we can use instead of that so let me close this thing again okay let me paste this here and it will directly clone uh, the solid js template if you want to use a ts you can use typescript over here as well so i got my very first type you can see clearly see here now what i'm do i'm going to do is i'm going to delete my package.json instead of that i'm going to create my dino.json okay and the another thing is white configuration js instead of this js i need to rename it with mjs or mts which is a kind of modular javascript or modular typescript okay uh, it directly supports your import statement so you don't have to worry about how it will work and here i need to use this npm colon uh, then only mm, let me close this then only it will grab the dependencies okay 
okay so in dino we used to write like this so it will identify that this repositories i need to get it from node modules or either from caching inside node modules like the way so yeah this is the port as usual this is the solid plugin instead of that you can use react or whatever react or anything by the way so yeah this is it okay now i can uh, i can change my directory as well i can go to go to my uh, app i can open into a code so i don't need to uh, so i can write directly everything in a uh, root directory so here uh, you can either use a task okay like this the task is something that is kind of start in package.json okay all the dependencies that you we used to have in here that i'm going to write here like i'll say start so for that the command is dino run hyphen a means you're providing all the permissions okay like read write nate everything okay and uh of course hyphen hyphen node modules dir okay directory and that node modules directory which belongs to white so it will directly call to white which will come from npm so that's the plan and this will be my very first uh command that i'm going to hit so it will automatically find the index.html and if you go index.html it is linked to index.js which is here and it will automatically get the all the node it will create a node modules folder here as well same like your node.js project that's the plan and let's see and i can clearly uh delete these two things okay i'll delete it later uh so let's let's try this out so i might get error so for that i'll use dino task start okay let me start so you can see the node modules folder is created okay and on localhost colon 3000 it's running i'm not sure that this is okay great for the first time uh, i tried this and this is working uh that that is super awesome so what i'm go going to do next is to see that this is the kind of error that i'm getting because it's not able to identify that okay this is coming from node modules or somewhere else so now i don't need this packet.json of course so i'm gonna delete this packet.json of course you can use this with yarn as well you can directly use with node uh and you can run yarn dev or something like that but in that case it should be js again okay for that this is specifically dino related tutorial so i'm gonna stick to uh i'm gonna delete this packet.json quickly because th there is nothing that i can do with this and uh, rest of the things that is super easy like you can integrate typescript as uh, of course uh tailwind css or other projects or react as well and one more thing uh the reference uh, that i have got from this repo uh, that is created by randahal who is a creator of node.js and dino of course uh so if you are not familiar about dino dino is built on the top of rust uh the same v8 engine was rewritten in the uh, rust i guess so that's why it is super fast if you go to the dino instead of node.js you can use dino by the way so if you go to the official site dino on the home page on dino.land you will see uh, the super thing that i can go back like this okay so yeah of course uh, there are a frame there is a framework like uh, fresh if you are not familiar about fresh is a kind of next in dino okay so like this you can see the performance this is twice faster than your node.js so this is super cool you can this is powered by of course chrome v8 engine build on the fastest build on the top of the fastest and the most complete javascript engine so that's what that's looking promising of course so that, that's why we are using it and safe npm packages install and run npm packages with less worry okay okay so this is the kind of thing that i can show you for now if you wanna try with other uh, frameworks like any framework or oh, few things you need to do let me show you uh github.com slash ry slash foobar this is the repo uh, created by randall and uh if i open this if i change this dot com to dot dev uh you can see 
this is a react project we have tried the solid project but if you want to use a react there are few minor changes that you need to do here is uh, of course that mjs instead of config.js you need to write mjs and apart from that there are few minor things uh, okay by the way if you are not familiar about this ui uh, if you want to open any repo uh, into VS code inside your browser you can simply re replace uh, your .com with .dev so like the way you can open this page and here this is a react project okay and this react project is uh, is we are using with with the help of white so there are any packages that you are using that you need to import here okay if you forgot this then it won't work so like any maybe or tailwind or whatever preact or vanilla js whatever you are using you just need to if if the npm if it is the npm package then you need to provide it uh, the reference here that's the main thing that to you have to keep in mind rest of the things will work automatically so this is it for this today's tutorial thank you so much for your time guys and uh, i hope uh, this video is kind of helpful for you because it it is a kind of experimental uh, you can uh, do your research onwards so please do let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed by the way you can use this thanks button as well in order to contribute even one dollar is enough to grow our channel so thank you so much have a good day Ta -ta, bye bye